Hi everyone, welcome to my second channel and today I'm going to be doing a really cool Halloween tutorial. Um, I actually, it was one of my subscribers who uh, asked me, requested me to do this tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you guys her email really quick and when I did a sneak peek of this look, a lot of the people on Instagram, on Facebook, they called it Faceception. So it's kind of like the movie Inception but it's like a face in a face so it's really crazy and you guys are going to love it. So let me show you guys that email really quick. So it's really affordable to do and I don't think you need to be any professional artist to pull it off. So that's why I thought why not do this. So let's not waste any time and let's get right into it. Now I already have my foundation on so we're just going to get straight to the drawing. So here's my eyebrow pencil and it's a dark brown eyebrow pencil, dark brunette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to cover half of my face so I can concentrate on drawing a new face. Um, so let's start with the eyebrows. So this is going to be one of my eyebrows, and this is the other. Just like that. So this is going to be the beginning of the brow, so I'm just going to thicken the end part of my brow. Alright, so after the eyebrows look a bit decent, let's move on to the nose. To draw on the nose, I'm going to use this matte brown shadow. And I'm just going to start from right here, from this eyebrow and then just take it down like this right there and now I'm going to start with this brow and slowly bring it on the side and then you can also brush in a darker brown eyeshadow just so you could see the shape of it better and then just blend the brown around this area because as you guys can see right here we have that little depth so just to create that we're going to add some more brown and just blend it. Make a little circular shape and then the tip of the nose like that and another nostril right here. So that's about it for the nose. I might add a little bit of highlight later just to make it look a little 3D. And now for the eyes, I'm going to use this black gel eyeliner and this makeup brush. So I'm just going to draw this eye and this one's a little bit hard because you have to kind of match the shape of your eye. So just take time and just be patient. I'm going to start from right here. So here's the inner corner. Okay, so that seems about right. After that, I'm going to take this white face paint and this is going to be the whites of my eyes. I'm just going to take a bit of that white and then just fill inside that almond shape. Then I'm going to take a little bit of that white and brush it down the center of this nose. It's time for the eyeshadow, so I'm going to use this pale peach eyeshadow from my Bare Minerals eyeshadow collection palette. So I'm just going to start applying the eyeshadow from this direction and blend it out. And I'm going to do the same right here on this eye. Next, I'm going to add a highlight on my inner eye corner. So I'm taking this white shimmery eyeshadow by Obsessive Compulsive. This is my inner eye corner. So right here. And then a little bit underneath. So after the inner eye corners, I'm going to apply some more of that white shimmery shadow on my brow bones. Now I'm going back with the black eyeliner and I'm just going to line my upper and lower lash line. So it kind of matches this eye right here. Wing this side. So normally I wing it this side but now we're, since we're doing everything opposite. Okay, after the wing, the face is slowly coming together. Since my eyes are black, I'm just going to use this black and draw a little circle right there. Now just to shape my eyes a little bit better, I'm going to take a dark brown eyeshadow and just apply it right at the corner and smoke it out a bit. 
And here we have the eyelashes and my eyelash glue. And all I'm doing is applying it right on the rims of the eyelash. And I'm gently going to place it right there. I'm just going to hold it there since it keeps on falling down. I'm just going to hold it like this till it dries. So my eyelashes have dried and now I'm going to take a liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to make my lower eyelashes. Make them longer as you go down. Longer, longer, and that's it. Eyes have a little bit of twinkle in it. I'm going to take this white face paint and make two dots right on the center of my eye. Okay, so we're basically done with the eyes. Now we're going to do the cheeks and then the lips. Now for the cheeks, I'm going to take this pink blush, pick some up on my blush brush, and then I'm just going to brush it right here on this side and then over here. The cheeks look good. So for the lips, I was just going to go with a lipstick, but then there is a high chance of smudging the lipstick when you try to fix your hair and stuff. So I'm going to go with my Meron Red Face Paint, just right below the nose. I'm going to start drawing nice luscious lips. And now, the bottom. To outline my lips, I'm just going to use that same matte brown shadow. And I'm just going to lightly go over the edges with that. So after I've outlined my lips, I'm going to go back and use a little bit of that white face paint and add a little bit of highlight for the lips. Last but not least, I'm going to draw the jawline. So I'm just taking that same matte brown shadow and then I'm just going to start right here and give her a nice v-shaped chin so after you've drawn the jawline you can just move your hair right there so it covers your nose and mouth there you have it there's your face also you could draw another face on this side and you can have a double face and it looks a lot crazier